Excel Online. I don't even think I've ever made a video about Excel Online. But guess what? Excel Online has been getting better all the time. In this video, we want to see how to make a pivot table in Excel Online. And we can go up to Insert and make a pivot table. Not only that, but recently keyboards were added to Office Online. So I can use my keyboard, Alt-N-V. And this dialog box is not exactly the same as the desktop version, but it got the right table. I'm going to put it on this existing sheet. Location, K5, click OK. I want to cross tab, so I'm going to put sales rep down the rows. Product, I'm going to put across the columns. Net revenue down to values. Inside the values area of the pivot table, we'll use number formatting. I'll select currency and then click OK. Now, watch what happens when I drag date down to rows. Uh-oh, automatic grouping by date didn't work, but right click. I don't see grouping. So it looks like the grouping feature isn't here yet. I'm going to drag this off. That's kind of a bummer. I guess what we'd have to do is add extra columns and summarize by year or month. So equals year. And then we're getting better. I can use my keyboards there. Click on the serial number date, close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, that fills down. Now I can come over and right click Refresh. And now I see year. So if I wanted to see sales rep by year, there's my pivot table. Now here's the cool thing about online pivot tables. Right click, and they've consolidated all the things you can change in a pivot table. Well, of course, they have summarize values by. Those are the functions. Show values as. Those are some of the extra calculations. But here's the properties and settings. Show settings. And it's a task pane over here, whether or not to show grand totals for the rows or the column, top or bottom. Here's where we change the layout. Here's the options for sorting and display, and so on. All right, so I guess I still like the desktop better, but the pivot table feature in online Excel is getting better all the time. All right, I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments. How many of you use Excel online? How many of you have used the pivot table feature? And all right, we'll see you next video.